early in the morning. The same mixture is prepared for these ladies, as this farmer calls them. In the center of France, Alexandre feeds his cows with hay, cereals and soybeans imported from Brazil. C'est quand même une graine qui reste euh, économiquement avec un prix raisonnable. Et deuxièmement, c'est une graine qui a un très fort taux de protéines. Donc cela permet euh, une rapidité d'engraissement des animaux euh, qui n'est pas négligeable. France imports soybeans mostly from Brazil to feed animals, but to meet the demand from Europe and China, some Brazilian farmers burn plots in order to cultivate them, which contributes to the deforestation of Amazonia. But to be self-sufficient, Europe would need a huge surface area. If we want to add on top of that, uh, the 50 million hectares needed, it would mean to add an area higher than, bigger than Austria, Belgium and Slovenia all together. Meanwhile, every year 33 million tons of soybeans are imported in Europe from Brazil or the US. A dependency that dates back to trade agreements signed in the 60s, which have limited the acreage to grow soybeans in favor of cereals. What if the solution was just here? I'm visiting one soybean farmer here in France where there's more and more of the crop being produced. In 2017, farmable lands have almost tripled compared to 2010. Lionel has been cultivating them for more than 10 years among cereals. And according to him, they have the advantage of partly preventing desertification. Alors, bon déjà ici c'est du soja non OGM euh, qui va pas être traité avec du glyphosate en fin de cycle pour faire tomber les feuilles. Voilà, donc euh, il nécessite moins d'un tronc qu'un soja euh, brésilien, oui. Meanwhile, another solution as suggested by vegans would be to stop eating meat. But apart from beef, the consumption of meat in Europe is far from decreasing.